Today we are going to continue with these CES videos because of course this is CES week and today we are going to be talking about the brand new smart home display that Lenovo just released. Let's talk about it. If you just saw a new intro for MWG Tech, I want to thank Tommaso because he just recreated that and if not, you didn't see it, I'll probably have it in by tomorrow. But this right here is MWG Tech where I give you the latest and greatest in tech news and today we are going to be talking about the Lenovo 4 inch smart home display and a couple other smart home devices that were announced at CES. In late 2017 and all of 2018, the genre of smart home displays started to truly grow because before late 2017, we didn't have the Echo Show, we didn't have the Google Home Hub, we didn't have any JBL smart home display, we didn't have any Lenovo one. I think you get the point. It all started at the end of 2017. And I personally think smart home displays are useful. I have one on my nightstand and I'm planning to get some more because they're useful when you have an assistant and you actually get to see what you're asking for visually, not just a hearing. The Amazon Echo Show right now, the second generation one starts off at $230. The Google Home Hub, which is Google's very own smart display, starts off at $100. Lenovo has an eight inch that starts off at 200 and a 10 inch that starts off at 250. But now we're had this little display which is smaller than all of them, but I think it fits a perfect niche. And it's this a four inch Lenovo smart display. So it's kind of like the perfect alarm clock or your perfect smart display on your nightstand. Because right now I have the Google Home Hub on my nightstand. I think it's perfect, but I think it's just a tad too big. And the Google Home Hub is right now about seven inches. But if you reduce that side by three inches, you get this brand new four inch smart display. Of course, since it's in a more compact package, it's going to be cheaper and it's only going to be around $20 cheaper than the Google Home Hub, which stands at 100. So this little four inch smart speaker starts at $79, which isn't bad. And I think it's a good price point considering that the Google Home Mini starts off at $30. And if you want a display, it's only going to cost around $50 more. Not too bad for a smart display. I'll take that. This four inch speaker is leaning towards more of the Google Home Hub speaker design than the other Lenovo products which this company made. But whatever, this one is a backfiring speaker with two radiators on the side. Don't get overwhelmed by all these specs. It's around just the quality of a Google Home Mini. But add a Google Home Mini and slap a display on that, that's what this thing is. I mean, it's cheap but it is good. I think it fits a perfect niche for these nightstand smart displays. You would probably want a bigger seven to eight inch or maybe 10 inches for a kitchen smart home display or for your living room. But for your nightstand, I think four inches is just perfect. You can set your little alarms on that, check the weather in the morning. I think four inches is perfect and you can still have your wireless charger next to you or just lay your phone down, your watch. I think a four inches is just perfect. Then I'm kind of glad this product came out and I'm looking to buy it. I'm just no bias here at all. But now with this tiny home hub coming later this month in January of 2019, the question is, what are you gonna buy? This Lenovo four inch smart display or the Google Home Hub? One is $80, one is 100. And I think for most case scenarios, you would probably just pay an extra 20 for the Google Home Hub because you get that three inch display, you probably get a bigger speaker and you get a bigger screen UI. And when on the little smart display, sure it's a decent enough speaker, but it would probably only fit on your nightstand. I think that's the use case for this, just nightstand only smart speaker. But of course, as always, there's more smart home products that were announced at CES. I'm not gonna talk about all of them, but I just wanna touch on a few ones that pointed out to me or jumped out to me. And that was another smart home product, another smart display from Lenovo. So on one hand, we had this tiny smart home hub. And on the other hand, we have this tablet home hub. Two different takes, one that's gonna fit a smaller niche of just nightstands and this other one that's gonna fit the niche of portability. And this one, is very interesting because you can be able to watch YouTube videos 
on your Google Home Hub or your Lenovo Smart Display or the Alexa Smart Display. I think you could watch YouTube videos on that. If not, that's kind of sad. But I know you could watch videos on the Google Home Hub. Every so often, I watch YouTube videos on my Google Home Hub, which is right now sitting on my nightstand over in the other room. But when I'm watching those YouTube videos, I kind of wish sometimes that I could just pick it up like my smartphone and hold it in my hands in my nice comfy bed with my pillows. <sighs> but now, that is exactly what Lenovo thought of because now they're having a tablet that could also act as a smart home speaker. Kind of like the way that the Google Pixel stand works with a Google Pixel phone. Very, very similar in the fact that there's gonna be a tablet that's gonna sit on this speaker dock and it's Alexa this time, not the Google Assistant for Lenovo. So if Lenovo's betting on both Google Assistant and Alexa, which is kind of smart they're putting their eggs in multiple bag baskets, which is smart. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Just a little something to take in consideration. This little iPad smart home speaker isn't going to be that powerful as let's say the base iPad 6, which is running with the A10 Bionic chip. This is only going to have the Snapdragon 450 processor and only around 16 gigabytes of storage. So this isn't truly a full on tablet, although it is running Android Oreo. It's pretty much just gonna be used for some web browsing and some YouTube videos. And that's really it. Maybe you could put some Netflix on there, watch some shows. But other than that, you're really not gonna do much else with this tablet. I mean, pretty much that's what most people use tablets for. So I guess that's okay. But all of a sudden, when you don't want to use it as a tablet, you could put it on its little speaker dock where, of course, it's going to charge, but it's also going to act as a Alexa Echo Show. And just a little reminder, this is only going to cost $200, which I think is pretty decent for this tablet smart display hybrid. I mean, this is pretty cool from Lenovo. Respect to them for making the smart display and a four inch nightstand speaker, which are two products that I think garner some respect from myself. And the last smart home product that I wanna talk about is a block of wood. Yes, a block of wood is now connected to the internet and this is from the company Mui. And this Mui company is a Chinese company, so it's not really gonna be easy to purchase in the United States or at least just yet. But get this, this block of wood, which is kind of like a smart display, block of wood is going to cost starting price of $500. $500 for a block of wood? What? And this block of wood can't really do much else other than what the Google Home Hub or Amazon Alexa show can do. It's not that impressive. I mean, it's a block of wood, which is super minimalistic, but still $500? It better make me some pancakes in the morning for $500. In the morning, I'm making waffles. This block of wood has no speakers, so if you want to listen to music, you have to get your own Sonos One or Google Home or Amazon Echo Plus or Apple HomePod. You get it. You need another speaker if you want to listen to music. But it can control your music at least on a block of wood. But this does have microphones, so you can ask for what's the weather. You can control your lights on the display. You could also control your thermostat or other smart home devices. This block of wood is a little bit peculiar for $500, but hey, we also have smart home refrigerators and smart home microwaves and smart home clocks. So I guess this is just another thing that has Wi-Fi and a Google Assistant inside of it, I guess. But for $500, you better get by me this as like a housewarming gift. <sighs> But that right there is all we have for today. This has been MWG Tech, and I will see you tomorrow for the latest and greatest in the tech news. Peace out.